Okay, so I'm going to have a quick look at uh, another of Scroll Magic's examples. So this one is under basic on Scroll Magic's examples web page, and it's the section wipes natural example. So this is what this one does. As I scroll, this blue section sticks. Uh, the content sticks in the center, and the next section wipes above it. So it's um, it's wiping the content above the previous one. Okay, so what I want to do with this one is uh, apply it to my long form uh, template, but just apply it to um, these um, sort of title um, sections so that as I scroll, rather than the text um, scrolling up as well, the text um, stays in the center and the next section kind of wipes up above it. Um, so I think the key to this and the key to using um, Scroll Magic with the long form template is when you're working with the code, when you're working with the example code, is to not necessarily copy all the HTML. So we're going to uh, just use the HTML to find clues as to how the script is working and apply that to our own HTML in the long form template itself. Okay, so this is their example. If we just copied this, it wouldn't work with our um, code necessarily. Um, so what I'm going to do is just copy the uh, JavaScript. So it's this bit here. We don't need the script um, sub element here because I'm going to copy and paste this directly into my index.js um, file. Okay. Let's save that and let's have a little quick look at this. So um, some of it doesn't really make much sense. Um, it's JavaScript. There's one line here that I've identified that is really, really relevant. So this line here um, is making a selection. So it's telling the script which bit of HTML or which section to apply this um, effect to. Uh, what it's doing is it's saying, okay, um, all the sections with the class name panel will have this effect applied. So if I have a look back at um, Scroll Magic's example, here we've got uh, various sections here, and each one has the class name panel. Okay, so in our code, section class name panel but we want to change this we want to apply it to our sections so let's have a look in index.html we've got sections every time there's a, um, a title section it's a section with a class name image underscore bg so all i need to do is change panel to image underscore bg so that's making a selection. It's 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 choosing the sections with the image underscore bg. Uh, the only other thing I need to do with this is remove this line here. Add indicators because that's just adding indicators. We don't need that, and I'm going to save that. So I think that's all I need to do. So I'll have a look at my uh, web page. Reload this, and as I scroll. We can see the next section scrolling above it. It looks a little bit strange now, but I need to fix that. And as I scroll to the next section, the text in that section sticks in the middle, and then the next section scrolls above it. Okay, so the reason why this looks a bit weird is because this section here, which is the content section, doesn't have a background color. Uh, so I need to fill that with a background color. So I need to edit the content um, class in CSS. So dot content, and all I need to do is apply a background um, to this. So I'm going to choose background white. I'm going to save this. So every time there's a content section, it will have a background white. And if I reload this, start scrolling. We've got the content section with the white background like that.